Once upon a time, a long time ago, back in the 20th century, a young girl was told that in order to live well and grow old gracefully, she must master the three arms, reading, writing, arithmetic. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, gorgeous guests, dignified dignitaries, and fellow Toastmasters. That little girl grew up and couldn't wait for the 20th century to leave because she really didn't have a lot of clues about the three R's. But when she came into the 21st century, guess what? She found that she was a senior citizen and single again. And she wasn't living that well. So she decided to revise the rules and make it work for her. I was that young lady, and I decided that in order for me to live well and grow old gracefully, I was going to master the art of the three C's. Cruises, <laughs> caviar, <laughs> convertible. <laughs> I decided that I was going to get rid of all my grouchy friends because I didn't need any more wrinkles in my face. <laughs> I was going to enjoy the simple things of life. And guess what? When you're a senior citizen, you get great discounts at some of the better restaurants. Mm -hmm. Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get rid of all non-essential numbers, <laughs> like height, age, weight, <laughs> how many husbands I've outlived, <laughs> or endured. <laughs> Speaking of husbands, when I lost my second husband, and I, I really didn't lose him. <laughs> <laughs> I told him that I needed a new fur jacket. <laughs> and we drove to Beverly Hills. Went shopping on Doheny Drive. Now. And when I came out of the dressing room to show my husband the jacket that I wanted, he was gone. He <laughs> <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't come home that night. <laughs>
And when I went by myself, now I took my own credit card. <laughs> when I came back, I gave my husband the bill, and he looked at it and he said, Why did you buy such an expensive coat? Single again. <laughs>